Hey, Alok. Uh, my name is Breck. I saw Dan Romero speak highly of you on Twitter. And um, I, go to, I went to college with Dan. I'm a, um, a big fan of his and what he was done with, with Farcaster. And um, I'm raising a $50,000 seed round right now, pre-seed, whatever you want to call it, uh, at a $934,000 pre-money valuation. And these, are, these are, sound like old numbers, but I'm kind of old school. I, I can do a lot with a little bit of money. Um, speaking of that, the noise might be a little bit loud here. I, uh, you know, sit, saving every penny I can. And anyway, I'm going to build this, this site for you. Rebuild this site on Scroll Hub. Show you what the hell we can do. This is a new stack. This is going to blow everything out of the water. I just created the new site. Oh, look, I'm going to put that in there. Let's uh, update this. So you know we're about 20 seconds in and we've got we've got the basics, okay? We've got your new site that's live on the web. Um, and then we've got a link here. We'll go ahead and, and make this a link. Now this this language I am writing in, this is just a uh, took a long time to figure it all out, but it's quite brilliant. It's gonna completely eat the software world. Um, we're building a successor to the World Wide Web called the World Wide Scroll, or the Scroll as we call it. And um, yeah, it's gonna be quite big. I think we all know the web is pretty big, so uh, this is an offline successor to the web. Um, there's, it's gonna change everything. I mean, it's gonna be, we're talking about Web 4, whatever the hell you wanna call it, whatever buzzwords you wanna call it, microprogramming, particles, Lots of buzzwords people will use about this stuff. Let me shrink my ugly mug there. Um, but but you know what? It just makes it makes uh, engineering fun. I mean, all right. So we're, so I think I got all the content there. Let me just take a look how it's looking. All right. Now let's get those styles in. What have you got? You've got uh, uh you know what? I could have had AI do this, um, but I just want to show you by hand um, how easy it is and. The thing about about this, um, what blockchain am I using? Joast, like Colin Joast, I don't know. Um, watch this, we'll do some CSS, get your body. So you can you can mix and match HTML and CSS in here. Um, I don't have the autocomplete for CSS yet, something we'll, we'll add. Um, and let's see if, the, okay, we got that font in there. Now you've got, what do you got? What, uh, 600, is that a margin auto? Container maybe. Um, let me edit the header here. Let me get rid of our style. Get rid of the home button. You don't have a home button. We'll get rid of that view source button. Do you do you print the title or you just have a message? Oops. Where did it go? Okay. You don't you don't have the title printed there. We'll get rid of that. We'll keep the meta tags. We'll keep the text version. So look at this. Okay. So it's starting to come together. Um, and we've got the text version there. Um, so we got that going on. We've got the font. What do we? I think your font size is a little bit different. What's that font size? Twenty-four px. So we'll bump the font size there. Okay. Um, and then and then you've got the margin going on at six hundred. We'll throw this all in a container. I'll show you how you can kind of mix and match HTML. We'll throw in a HTML container here. This is just fun. I'm not. I'm having a blast. We don't need that version link. That's you know. Um, and then let's uh, let's do an auto. So if you know CSS, if you know HTML, um, you can. Let me just clean this up a little bit down here. I got to get that auto complete in. How great would that be? So margin zero auto. And then what would you see? Max width 600 px. Actually, you don't do auto. You do. I think you've got a padding to the left here. Okay, a little, what was that, about 20 px of padding? Yeah, 20. So let's let's toss that padding in there. Padding, 20 px, save that guy. So it's starting to come together. Um, it's starting to look like yours. We've got, you've got 
only we've got a transparent underline on the the a tags uh, until hover so text decoration color was it text underline color I think underline color transparent and then um, you got a on hover I think we want to do an unset on that and let's see what if that gives us what we want oh, I think I screwed that up I forget what is it called text decoration text underline oh what is it text text underline I thought it was the text underline color no underline it's the text decoration color ah text decoration color okay well text decoration color and if I had of course if I had my AI here which we're gonna add of course we would have all right, so we got that, and now what do you do? You bold these links. So you bold, and then you've got different colors for each one of them. So font weight, bold. Okay, and then now what colors do you use? Um, okay, so you, it looks like you double set those. All right, so now watch this. We're gonna go ahead and add um, style. Provide codes with generate okay, uh, wrap matching text in a screen. Okay, let's do wrap, what is it called? Inline markup, custom inline markup. Hello. That's your dev. You know what? Let's just do blue. We got blue. We got let's, what, what are these colors? I'm gonna call this aqua. I don't really know the names of colors. Aqua. Give me this blue. And um, let's do, I think we want to do class. Blue there. Where's that aqua? On standard crypto. Now, of course, I could do this in mine too, um, but yeah, we'll do it this way. Maybe I'll switch to in mine. Okay, and then that something looks slightly different. What is it? Font weight? What do you do with the font weight? Or is the font is, is the font different? Am I just do I is Jost not a? Uh, what's the? It looks like. Looks like your font weight is maybe a little bit smaller. I'm not picking up. There's something slightly nice about your font that I didn't pick up there. And what color is this guy? We'll just do this one. Red. All right. Um, I was a researcher. Class. Red researcher. Okay, so now what are we missing in terms of details? Oh, these two guys are black. That's an easy one. Class black. Well, let's do. Color black. Okay, we got that. Boom, boom, boom. Now, what, what is this guy right here? Font weight. Are you doing something different here? Are you doing something neat? Huh. I'm missing something. I'm missing a detail. Is it the line height? Font weight. Let's go 100. Oh, yeah, that might be it. That looks, that looks like perhaps what you're doing let's just try that font weight 200 okay here's yours here's the new one that's pretty close 10 minutes in this is scroll um, I'll, I'll send you the pitch deck 
thank you for being my um, unsolicited guinea pig. <laughs> Blame Dan for saying good things about you. All right. Have a great day. Cheers.